Hello everyone, I'm Vatsala here with Mini and we are here today at wonderful house of Mr. Arun and Deepa along with their cute little daughter and the son. The overall build up area of this house is 6000 square feet and this is in Banchangiri 5th stage. And the name of the house is Belaku that means light. So guys, this house is going to be explained by the client themselves. We are going to hear from Mr. Arun and Deepa about their sweet little house and their experience and the journey through building this house right from 2014 till 2017. Let's go around. Well, Deepa, I'm really excited to know more about your house, you know, uh, the way the foyer looks is like really amazing with this hexagonal stone cladding, you know, what's the concept behind having Ganesha here and hexagonal ceiling, can you, can you tell me more about this? Yes, Vatsala, so uh, we have uh, Ganapati here so that it is very auspicious okay. as well uh, and mm -hmm. also for, uh, for the purpose of uh, Vastu, we mm -hmm. have uh, Ganapati over here and we have this um, uh, stone cladding which mm -hmm. is uh, uh, SS beading uh, given over there. That was really nice about the foyer and the chandelier and everything, you know, I'm more curious about the way your living room has turned out with this designer CNC and this, you know, the Krishna idol yes. and uh, especially the partition of the living room. That's and right. I want to know more about this. Can you please Sure, Vatsala. Sure. Yeah. So we have uh, a very big uh, living. What is the size of this living room? Uh, it's uh, 25 by mm -hmm. 30. Okay. And uh, we have a uh, uh, ceiling which is of CNC cut. Mm -hmm. It was uh, mm -hmm. around uh, six months. Uh, we went through a lot of discussions. Okay. And we decided on a design which is which should be which should be matching everywhere, mm -hmm. and we chose a design which is very pleasant, okay, and and also which should look good and grand. Okay. So that's how we selected this design. That's awesome and great. Thank Can you, you tell me more about this uh, this particular wall cladding, Deepa? So we selected this Krishna cladding, which is like um, which we liked it very much. And um, mm -hmm. we had a uh, framing done for this, mm -hmm. uh, which is actually a veneer and a duco painted. Okay, so uh, well, you know, not to forget about this partition, guys. Uh, you know, we have worked almost close to six months right from the construction of this building. If if not, like you know, how things should fall in which place? Right from I remember Deepa coming to our office. If not. 50 times, 100 times she has come to our office to discuss every other minute details which thing should fall in which place. Especially for the CNC cutting, we have worked for almost around two and a half months which type of cutting should fall in which place. And we wanted this partition to be a very translucent. At the same time, uh, we wanted it to be with the lacquered finish. And you can see the simplicity in the TV unit. We have just gone ahead with a white color TV cabinet with the just off cabinets. And Deepa, why, why don't you tell me something about this cladding here? Yeah? So this is uh, the actual uh, Sadrali stone, mm -hmm. uh, which is actually um, cladded okay. on top of a brick wall. Mm -hmm. And um, we have this niches uh, uh, which is inbuilt on the stone itself. Let's talk about more about the dining now. Sure. So, tell me more about this place, Deepa. Yeah. So, uh, we have uh, uh, the puja here, uh, present Can you towards tell me more about the here? left. Yeah. So, this is uh, completely made out of teak, mm -hmm. and we have two pillars uh, embedded with the uh, the elephants on both the sides, and uh, coming to the entrance. So we uh, selected this uh, ceiling of multiple layers and a CNC as well in the uh, in between and uh, this is something we really liked and we uh, uh, opted for this. Uh, 
so this is uh, the uh, courtyard area uh, one of uh, one of arun's uh, favorite places and initially when we started the, the design for the house he had in mind that we need to have a courtyard here and a buddha over here so with that in mind uh, we have this waterfall uh, in behind and a buddha uh, in front of it and also the buddha uh, and the design behind it and also the flooring everything is made out of sandstone We are in the entrance of the kitchen now guys in the entrance of the kitchen what you can see is a paneling and towards my left hand side you can see the reflection of the paneling in the inverted yell shape and you know there is a vanity here and there are niches with beautiful artifacts tell me more about you know this design uh, deepa so we chose a uh, l shaped crockery unit here yeah i could see that and yeah. an inverted l uh, uh, mm -hmm. present over there and we selected um, uh, a granite slab over here and a uh, two drawers for the to have the kitchen stuff going one uh, beauty about this particular mirror and vanity here is you see a reflection of the living room also so that you know even when you are standing in the kitchen you don't feel like you can also see the activities happening in the living room and as per vastu the minute you enter the house if you have a mirror it is a sign of you know good wealth that's so right so we don't have a mirror in the foyer area So, I would say this is adding as a compliment. Okay? Correct, and we need not get into the bathroom so yeah, that sure, uh, you yeah. can get it uh, uh, here itself. Yeah. And uh, one wonderful thing which we missed about the dining room is this wonderful rectangle uh, ceiling, which is having the continued CNC cutting in the ceiling. Well, uh, with that, guys, we are going to talk more about what we have done in this wonderful kitchen. Let's hear from Deepa. Yes. So Deepa, I am you know more curious about your dry kitchen, wet kitchen, and you know what all you want to say about this kitchen now. Yeah, sure. So we have a tall unit uh, over here. Yeah, I see. Miss Deepa, uh, the way her emails are, the kitchen also looks very organized, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> So uh, I always uh, always wanted a tall unit in the kitchen. kitchen yeah. So we opted uh, we selected this pattern for the tall unit. I see a good combination of ivory and uh, the red color here. and uh, that's right so yeah. i always wanted a red kitchen for my home mm -hmm. so that was my first uh, priority and then to match up with that we chose the frosty white uh, laminate for this okay so we have a lemon corner over here oh wonderful <laughs> guys we have a lemon corner here and uh, So this is uh, uh, this is one of the uh, uh, accessory which I really liked uh, in the kitchen accessories, okay. which is from Hetic. Okay. So Bonito has uh, helped us in selecting the accessories as well. We have a orga window. So this is where I have stored all the lunch boxes uh, uh, for the kids. So this is uh, something we selected uh, exclusively for the kitchen, which I really liked because it rolls up and rolls down. <laughs> okay. And uh, I basically, I have stored all the uh, electronic okay. stuff mm -hmm. so that you bring it out, mm -hmm. use it, and keep it back. I That's the concept. I wonder a lot about you know uh, the, the the reason behind why you went for a dry kitchen and a wet kitchen, and I've heard like you know you both husband and wife, you are a lover of continental food also. Correct. So, so, can you tell me more about that? How is this dry kitchen and wet kitchen, you know, helping you out in? Correct. So, uh, we have uh, two kitchens. Uh, dry. Basically, we use it only for the continental and uh, um, uh, mostly for the breakfast uh, stuff. We usually use the dry kitchen, mm -hmm. and uh, usually we use the wet kitchen for the regular cooking. So let's hear uh, more about the wet kitchen, guys, where the actual cooking happens. <laughs> So this is the uh, the wet kitchen wherein mm -hmm. uh, we usually cook the Indian uh, food. Okay. And we have a hydraulic uh, top lift over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have also selected the uh, wicker baskets wherein uh, we can store some of the stuff and, and things like that. Sure. And there are three uh, different size uh, wicker baskets. Which kitchen is more functional for you? Is the wet kitchen or the dry kitchen? It's the wet kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so nice. Yeah. Anyway, so which is your most favorite breakfast? So I usually cook puri and uh, 
uh, alligator pal yeah, is that's uh, that's a favorite for the kids <laughs> as well <laughs> So guys, uh, we are with a proper South Indian that is Mrs. Deepa who loves puri and aloo. So wet kitchen is her favorite kitchen. I think for Arun it's the dry kitchen. <laughs> so let's see what's there in the guest bedroom now, guys. Follow us. So we are in the guest bedroom as the color speaks. It's a very bright room, guys. This bedroom is having a combination of orange and white. Tell me more about this color combination, Deepa. Why did you go with orange and white? So uh, we wanted something bright for this room mm -hmm. and the ground floor. So we went for the orange color, which Who is. Who uses this room right now? So basically, uh, uh, when my uh, in-laws comes or when my uh, parents come here, they usually use this room. Right. Nice. So this, I see a wonderful handle here, you know, and I remember you going for a shopping for you know, months to pick up and you know, yes. these are one of those handpicked handles, The chrome guys, handles, and, yeah. you know, these are one of the expensive handles in the entire house and this is having a glass finish on top of the lacquer, the layer within it and you see this niches, niches. orange niches with a combination of white everywhere. So tell me more about why maple leaf everywhere, Deepa. So we like this laminate which is embedded with the maple leaf mm -hmm. and we chose this uh, which had both combination uh, of orange and white was available having a maple leaf in it. Sure. So we chose this uh, Vatsala. Nice. Okay. And guys, uh, you know uh, something interesting we have tried in this particular bedroom and you can see this. There is an iron board embedded in the wardrobe so that you know it looks like very it cool. just slides in. yeah slides in and we also have a metal rack to keep the iron board here so that you know as in when you are in a hurry to get somewhere you just open up the wardrobe press there and then more so uh, if you look at the bed and the headboard uh, we have used the same combination of orange again with the maple leaf and which is sandwiched with the mirror mirror yes. yeah so of course as she told that you know, uh, Arun and Deepa, the name for the house itself is Bilaku. They wanted bright colors everywhere and this particular room in the daylight, it, it throws so much of light. That's right. You know, it's uh, so bright guys. And as orange is also a sign of health, they wanted in one of their uh, house uh, to go along with orange color and hence we have chosen this particular space. That's right. So what's the speciality about this particular wardrobe? Uh, Deepa, why don't you tell me something about this wardrobe? Yeah, sure. So we have a uh, wardrobe here, uh, which is in the walk-in. Please, please come on. So, which is uh, a glass and uh, wallpaper sandwiched uh, wardrobe, mm. uh, which is a sliding wardrobe and a loft uh, has been given at the top. That was all about the ground floor guys. From here, Arun and Mini will take you around covering the first floor and the second floor areas. Over to Mini and Arun. Bye-bye.